This is Mr. Beast, and these are the Stokes Twins. The Stokes Twins have managed to amass a following of 19 million YouTube subscribers for one simple reason, copying Mr. Beast. The Stokes Twins copy thumbnails, editing styles, and rip off entire videos. Basically, they studied everything about Mr. Beast's channel and made it their entire living. While it's pretty much built into content creators' DNA to take ideas from other creators, what happens when this inspiration goes too far and creates a literal clone? Well today, we're going to investigate how the Stokes Twins have managed to build their career solely on their perfection of copying. The way it usually goes is if you're taking a video's inspiration from a fellow content creator, you usually add your own spin to it by creating an original thumbnail using a unique editing style while presenting the information in a different way. However, the Stokes ones have completely ignored this. Take for instance this thumbnail. The video was posted by Mr. Beast on the 30th of March 2019 with the title Lastly the Tesla Keeps a Challenge. Now compared to the Stokes Twins thumbnail for the video Last to Leave Tesla Wins $10,000, which was posted two years later in September 2021. Not only did the Stokes Twins copy the original title, photo position, and font, the Pikachu hidden behind the Tesla makes it evident that the Stokes Twins simply pasted their faces over the Mr. Beast crew. And if we take it a step further, the Stokes Twins would also copy Mr. Beast's channel art, subscribe for a cookie, and replace it with their own art, subscribe equals cookie. However, Mr. Beast is not the only creator who has fallen victim to the Stokes Twins scumbaggery. These douchebags certainly have a whole list of creators to steal from. The Stokes Twins have copied the YouTuber Arak and more than one occasion. Apart from the fact that the twins 100% ripped off Eric's thumbnail by simply flipping the photo horizontally, the content itself was presented in a way such that their version was nothing more than a knockoff of the original video. Bed sheets as a rope to escape your bedroom. Guys, please don't do this at home. This is a terrible idea. Oh, it's working. Oh my God. Whoa. Whoa. The sheet literally ripped right there. Busted. You can climb out a window using only bed sheets. Uh oh. Yeah. Oh my god. It's Wait, working. <laughs> it's working. It oh god. <laughs> it's impossible to ride a bike underwater. Eric! 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 Oh my god. Dude, he's doing it. Busted. <laughs> it is impossible to ride a bike underwater. Oh, oh it's working. Oh, it's popping away. Whoa! <laughs> I don't think that worked unless you count popping a willy as riding a bike. This would certainly not go unnoticed as several posts on Reddit and YouTube would call out the Stokes Twins for their actions. Why are the Stokes Twins copying Arax? They just flip Arax's background, put his face instead of Arax, and called it a day. However, plagiarizing content is not the only crime these morons have committed, as these guys came up with the genius idea to stage a bank robbery in broad daylight, wearing ski masks and dressing up in all black. Note that they were also carrying duffel bags full of cash as they pretended to flee the scene. During the prank, they would call a random Uber driver to help them get away from the scene, who had no clue as to what was going on. They were lucky enough to be issued a mere warning. However, just 4 hours later, the Stokes ones would carry out this same exact stunt in another area of the city. And after getting caught, the twins were sentenced to 160 hours of community service and were also ordered to pay restitution for all of the damages. Yet despite the shameful ways the Stokes twins have used to build their enormous audience in recent years, it's important to note that their first couple of videos actually started off somewhat innocent and original. They take video ideas from different creators, something deemed perfectly normal, except instead of ripping off the content, they'd actually put some of their own creativity into making their own version of the video. At this point, it was easy to believe the twins were heading down a reputable career on YouTube. However, of course that wouldn't last forever. On the 18th of May 2019, a YouTuber by the name of Faze Rug would upload a video under the title, DMing 100 celebrities to see who would reply, in which he would kick off the video by crediting the original video from Ryan Trahan. We're just gonna get right into it. I do want to give a shout out to Ryan Trahan. I think that's how you pronounce your last name, but I saw this on his channel, so all credit to him, and I think this was just pretty dope. I want to see how many people are going to reply. And would also create their thumbnail with some reasonable inspiration. However, the Stokes Twins thought it would be a genius idea to rip off Phase Rug's thumbnail with no shame whatsoever, blatantly replicating the facial expressions, camera angle, and even the unique yellow outline without showing any appreciation for the original video. What makes the situation even more worse is that the Stokes Twins video 
video would skyrocket in views, accumulating significantly more compared to both Phasereg and Ryan Trahan's videos. And because the twins never received any backlash from their antics, this would ultimately open up a bunch of deplorable ideas for these scumbags. And soon enough, their channel would be filled with countless videos after videos, each of which being obvious clones of other videos on the platform. For instance, they would then go on to copy the prank channels such as That Was Epic and Big Dos TV for their videos giving strangers the iPhone 11, as well as cutting people's earphones and giving them AirPods. At this point, the Stokes twins have found the scummiest way to gain clout. They'd simply steal a video idea, replicate the thumbnail, and market it to their audience who seemed to have no clue of what was going on behind the scenes. However, it wasn't long before a creator on the platform would finally call out their unethicality. The YouTuber on the spotlight goes by the name Charles the French, who would upload a video titled The Problem with Online Classes one month before the Stokes twins would post their own video under the same title, which once again would not include any reference to the original video. See if you can figure out the reason for all of the drama. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to this online class. Click present when I call your name. Uh, Jack? Okay. Peter? Okay. Charles? Present. Okay. All right, everyone, welcome to your first day of online class. Now, when I call your name, click the space bar so I know your presence. Uh, Andrew? Lexi? Um, uh, Alan? Very good. I want us together to try to grab the knowledge from this class. I want us to grab... What did he just say? I want us together to try to grab knowledge from this class. I want us to grab this ass. Huh? Uh, Radon is accumulating in places where ventilation is in Such as the internet on the ground or mine, maybe uh, build up inside. Okay, moving on to calculating the cups of the sun. The sun is a star Two weeks later, Charles the French would upload a video, Did the Stokes Twins Copy Us, in which he would address the entire situation. These jokes are a little bit similar. It must be a coincidence, no it's not! Thing I'll say is that you guys do what you want, but when you have 4 million subscribers, that's 10 times what we got. I personally think that it's quite disrespectful to your fans that you don't come up with your own jokes. And that you take the work of smaller creators like us. As creators, we would find it extremely unethical to just take someone's work and reuse it. Stokes Twins would receive so many comments on their video, calling them out for their embarrassing antics, all of which going along the lines of, we can all agree that this video is heavily inspired. The backlash would ultimately reach a point where the Stokes Twins would have no other choice but to turn comments off altogether and respond to the situation head on. On. They started off by taking accountability of their poor job crediting the original video before admitting that some of the jokes were definitely inspired. However, they would then add on to this by stating that stealing one's ideas, thumbnails, and entire video is just another part of content creating, implying that copying Charles the French's video is somewhat justified on their end. Now to the Stokes Twins defense, sure, stealing content on YouTube has been a problem for years. However, that wouldn't mean it would be okay for you to do it as it only adds to the problem. Considering the amount of backlash and negative attention brought to the Stokes twins, you'd think that they'd finally realize enough is enough and simmer down on their dirty antics. However, if anything, it only got worse. Because the Stokes twins realized that there wasn't a substantial amount of decrease in views after the Charles the French incident, so they would then go on to believe they'd receive no consequences other than some people merely calling them out. The Stokes twins would be featured in several videos exposing them on their antics, each of which bringing hundreds of thousands of people in light of the situation. However, However, none of these would have any effect on the Stokes twins. They'd go on to rip off more of Phase Rug's thumbnails before doing the same with Ryan Trahan, Mark Rober, and of course Mr. Beast, taking it the extra mile by copying his intros almost word for word. Today, me and the crew are going back to first grade. At the end of the class, we will receive a 10 question test. Today, we're going back to kindergarten. We'll be joining an actual kindergarten class with three kindergartners and a kindergarten teacher. Now, while the Stokes ones are definitely not the only creators who have built their careers solely on being copycats, we do have to point out that the Stokes Twins certainly have no desire in changing their ways. And part of the reason the Stokes Twins still haven't faced any real consequences or changed their ways is one simple reason. The Stokes Twins audience is filled with young children who don't care about their favorite creators being deplorable douchebags, would rather watch content solely for entertainment. 